Uh, I came for political purposes around the city yesterday and today. I'm from Louisiana, I'm living in New Hampshire now, and I'm running for president as a Republican nominee. And I find out I've been shut out of all, of all the debates. I'm a congressman and a governor, and I went to Occupy Wall Street months ago when it first opened. I believe in young people, and I think politicians ought to listen. So while I was in town today, I wanted to come listen. I'm not giving a speech. I just wanted to listen and have people tell me what's on my hearts, what's on their minds, what they're trying to do. It makes me a better leader. That's why. How about you? Why are you? Um, I'm here because I've been very involved in the Occupy Movement in Oakland and at Cal. And I'm interested in seeing what's happening here in DC and learning from Good. what works. I think that we can teach each other. Well, that's great. Um, and support each other. Do you do you have a job per se? Or <laughs> Within the Occupy movement? No, I'm not no. getting paid. <laughs> <laughs> Me I wish they'd pay me to run for president. Yes, I'm your man. So what do you, what's your job? Um, well, I actually teach kids and teens. I work, yeah, yeah, I work with kids and middle cool. schoolers and teens. Well, you're a cool person. Thank you. You and Fred from Oakland. Yeah. yeah. I'm, cool. I'm, I'm a team. We're both teachers. We're both teachers. Oh, yeah. 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 And, and I have to say, the Occupy movement is... It's really, it's it's one of the most exciting, inspiring things yeah, that I, yeah. I can remember because it really, I, I, I just have this sense that finally there's going to be this actual shift, there's going to be this actual change, returning to prioritizing people instead of profits and stock prices, to yeah. returning to some more ecological sanity and balance. Balance, that's yeah. the word, balance. It's, and, and it's, it's okay to work for profit, but balance. Exactly. You know, balance. Exactly. Yeah. And that's just, where I am. It, I'm running, I don't take PAC money, a hundred dollar limit. That's why I ran for governor, that's why I ran for Congress, that's why I'm running for president. And they laugh, the other people do. <laughs> but I don't think it's funny. We need a leader who's free. That's all. I don't care what party he belongs to. I don't care about his color or his religious belief. I want a leader. And that's why I'm here. And Occupy Wall Street, when I first heard about it, and of course it spread across the country, I said, man, they smell the same thing I do. Corruption. Exactly. Special, special favors for a few. Now, I'm a Harvard boy. I'm not an Oakland boy. But I learned there that the system can work if there's justice. And I'm asking the question, where's the justice? Hmm. That's a good question. That's what I'm we're flying home too. for Thanksgiving. Well, nice to meet you. Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. A lot Thanksgiving. of us think the system well. cannot work. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> a lot of us think the system cannot yeah. work. It's true. I mean, we've tried to reform it. We did that in the 1930s. We did Social Security, Medic, you know, National Labor Relations Act, Federal Labor Standards. Still. Standard. And then, you know, once things calm down, once we come back to work, once the sit-down strikes are over, they slowly but surely, half partly comes along, start yeah. taking all those things that we want. Yeah. The first go around back. We fight wars for the last 40 or 50 years, kill hundreds of millions of people in the world, and we're right back where we started. Well, you know, so the question you, is, you are we and good? I, You and I can't make it perfect. But no, I think we can we, make it certainly we, a lot better than killing hundreds That's of millions exactly of people. Right. No question about it. No question about it. It's why I'm here. It's why you're here. I mean, we're together. Balance. No, we're not together. Balance. You think this system can be saved. I don't think it can be. I think it has to be changed in a fundamental Let way. Let me change your word. I think the system can be improved. I think it needs to be reevaluated. I'm looking for a better one. I can't find it. This one needs balance. I've been to China. I see that system. One party, one government, people in poverty. We have a better system. We need balance. We need balance. We need so you can speak to the yeah. president. No, we need a system which learns something from the mistakes we made in the 20th century and I all agree the with social that. movements. I the agree with that. Movements in Russia and China, the civil rights. All these movements did not accomplish their goal. We need to evaluate those movements and find out what the core problems are. I think the core problem in this country is the profit system. The idea that you can make profit off someone else's labor, that you can constantly expand your market, that you can constantly grow without question of sustainability. These are fundamental problems that we have to deal with. And this system cannot deal with them. Because these rich people have all the money. They control the media, they control the press, they control the government, they control both political parties. They control
control all our major industries, and you know, they got the cards stacked against us. You know what I think? And that's the system. I, I, I think that our system has got unbalanced. We can't be judged and it's We need to back up, start over again with our balance. And I don't think profit's a bad thing. It's motivated. Where does profit come from? Where does profit come from? From our labor. Our labor. Right? And so our someone, brains. That's right. It comes from us. And someone else gets but it. But the difference and someone is, else gets the it. that's difference, unfair. The that's difference unfair. in America is that you can debate it freely and you can and do nothing your own about system. it. <laughs> oh, well, that's what a lot of people do. But you're doing something about it. And I'm, I'm doing trying to get rid of it. it. That's right. I'm working very hard. You want to abolish it. I want to reform it. Can, can you can you speak to some specific initiatives that you have that would directly affect some of these yeah. these issues that you've been the kind most, of the most important is campaign reform. Mm -hmm. I think we've gotten ourselves now where big checks are first in line, mm -hmm. and small business people, moms and dads who start their own companies or who work in small manufacturing plants are so far back in line you can't even see them anymore. Mm -hmm. This is a government that is owned by the lobbyists and the PACs and the special interests. I run for president mm -hmm. taking no more than $100. Mm -hmm. No PACs, no super PACs, and I disclose everything I get. Mm -hmm. I believe that a president ought to be free to make the kind of changes that he's talking about mm -hmm. and restore balance in the system. I think a president ought to lead they can't do it because they're owned by the special interests. That's the first change that I will fight for, campaign reform. I did it in Louisiana. Right. We have the worst unemployment rate in America, 12.8%. Today we're one of the best in America. Reform mm -hmm. makes a difference. Well, is there a specific policy kind of concept? I mean, that that's a good concept, but policy-wise, how do you do that? What you're doing with your campaign, not accepting any PAC funds, that sort of thing, is partially defeating your access to a national platform, yeah. and so that's a real challenge for you, but it's admirable that you're, you are adhering to those um, values. However, there is nothing in our system that requires anyone else to adhere to those principles. No, in my yet. mind, there is a major ethical failure happening, and so how do you affect policy that changes that ethical failure? By example, by leadership, by using the office of president to make this a priority. No president's done it in my lifetime. I thought Barack Obama was. What a joke. No change at all. Billion dollars from the special interest. I plan to live like I preach and make that my first priority. That's the change you can make. That's something you can dig into. Watch me. Uh, Mr. Roman. Yes. Are you aware that the Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act allows insurance companies to use the IRS to collect money from people that are not customers. Yeah. It goes worse than that. And businesses. It goes worse than that. It gives them a monopoly, state by state. They ha they already have a monopoly in almost every it, state it in the country. It doesn't put them under the Sherman Antitrust Act. That's the first thing I'll do. They go under the Sherman Antitrust Act. By God, they'll compete and prices will go There is a solution that we out to your campaign already. It's just happenstance that we're both here at the oh, same Oh, really? Time. What's your name? Glenn Morton. Uh, I wrote a book called Passing Obamacare. I actually have a copy of it here. But I propose a better solution is based on the health insurance, portability, and accountability. Okay, I need to look at it. I haven't done it. I need to. You're going to be here for one minute. Yeah. I'll go get a copy. Get it. I'll be right here. Thank you very much. Thank you. My name's Hopper. Hey, Hopper. Um, Where are you from? I'm from around here. I'm about an hour west. Um, if I could change any one thing in okay. the current political economic system what in the United States, think? I would have the Federal Reserve stop printing money. They say that if you raise taxes on the top 1% and give it to the poor, it's socialism because you're redistributing the wealth. But every time they print money, it devalues the dollar in my pocket, and then they give it to the rich. It's just reason of wealth in the opposite direction. I think both are criminals. Right. What what actions could be taken to um, to change that? To have the Federal Reserve stop printing money? Three things. One, I would not have them serve a dual purpose. They're only but right now they do the Humphrey Hawkins for equality and they do currency valuation. They don't do either very well. Currency valuation is what they need to do. That's number one. Number two, I would fire the board of the Federal Reserve and put people on it with no conflicts of interest. Everybody on the board now have conflicts of interest. They're owned by the big banks. 
the special interest. Number three, I would have an annual public audit of the Federal Reserve System. Annual public audit. We want to know what they own and who they own it for. I'd make those three changes, step back, and see how it works. I do. The president sets the board. The president can say we're a 2% inflation nation. That's it. The president can do it. Do you think it could be arranged to have, uh, to have the board elected by the people? You know, I, I'll have to think about that. That's not a bad idea. I'll have to think about it. The reason it hadn't been done in the past is that we were told there were certain special knowledge needed by the board members. But hell, everybody and his duck is on there now, and all they are is interconnected. So maybe there's a middle ground. Maybe there are certain public standards that have to be set before you can be selected to the Federal Reserve. That's right. Maybe that. Maybe that's the middle ground. And elections are based on campaigns anyway, so if the people can demonstrate to us that they are educated and good work, we know. Yeah. That's right. But I don't, I don't want a Federal Reserve member to spend $10 million to get reelected to the Federal Reserve. So, so I'll have to think yeah, about that, okay? Yeah. Probably have to have, like, term limitations. Okay, what did you think about Buddy Romer's answer to your question about the Fed? Um, I like his ideas. I think instead of the president appointing members of the board, it should be open election, which he said he would consider and think about. Mm -hmm. The problem with that is he didn't want people to have a billion dollar campaign to get reelected. Um, and that makes sense, That's, you know, it's a corrupt system. And um, people respond to media and wealth buys media. But, um, I think we should change it to an elected process. I don't know how his propositions would effectively stop the Fed from printing money. Should I look at that? Um, so, I wish I could have talked to him more in depth about it to see exactly how that would affect policy. Mm -hmm. But, uh, just the fact that he understands that it's a problem and he's willing to make some reforms and an effort to change it encourages me. Mm -hmm. so.